Hello, I'm Sig Solo. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this shave with the new razor all the way from Alpha Shaving Works. Today's razor is the newly released, or I don't know if it's actually released, released, but you can pre-order it, and I did and got it, uh, from Alpha Shaving Works. This is the Alpha Shaving Works um, Outlaw Evolution. This has been upgraded from the old version, this is the old version. The thingies clamming the blade are 300% wider, wider, the thingies there. I don't know if you see them. Uh, this, the, the, what do you call it, safety bar has been um, updated, redesigned for a smoother shave. The top cap, that thing there, uh, is 6% wider. And some of the round edges, let's see, yeah, I get that. Some of the uh, edges has been made less rounded to give it a more modern look. I have this, uh, well, I have them both. This is the new one. Um, I have them both with the Viper 95 uh, handle, 95 millimeters. Uh, this, the old one is uh, 123 grams, and the new one is 125 grams. The gap on this uh, is 0.70 of a millimeter. Uh, uh, this is with the mild 0.56 and you have the more aggressive one that I have in copper uh, that is 0.76. So, but this has a neutral to slightly positive exposure depending on the blade or so the information on the sides is. Uh, the soap for today is this Pai Mei from, um, uh, 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 from Hendrix Classics. Come on, I'm stumbling over all the words here. Uh, and this was made, he made an error when he made this. So instead of 7% fragrance oil, he accidentally put in 12.7%. So this is very strongly scented. Uh, this is inspired by um, African leather by uh, Mimo, Barry or Paris, uh, and I tell you, this is a nice scent. It's very, very strong. It's even stronger than the strongest one I have from Pete, uh, the one called Le Mafioso, that is also very strong. Uh, this has a, a, a very masculine, perfu per perfumey, uh, cologne uh, scent with some cardamom, a little flower, and then a ton of leather. So this is very cologne but not in the sweet way. Uh, it has a little sweetness in the beginning, but then it goes over to the leather in the end. Um, so a very, very nice scent indeed. Um, the Outlaw razor, <laughs> uh, shaving brush, aluminum handle from Alpha Shaving Works, and the ball the uh, Pete Hendrix, sorry, the Hendrix, Hendrix Classics and Co. Um, straight wall ball in the urban wall gray. Okay, let's get this party started. I tell you, this is potent stuff. You might want to be a little uh, wary with ordering this if you are one of those who gets Frag burns easily, or headaches, or your significant other or family, other family members get headaches from a strong scent. Uh, I used the Le Mafioso one morning before I went to work, and I had a couple of colleagues um, telling me that my perfume was too strong. I don't wear perfume, but I did, of course, use the splash for the mafioso, so I had to go and wash as much of, it, of my face as I could because people, you know, they were allergic to fragrances. I don't know what you call it, scent allergic or something like that. So that's a no-go on, on the work. Uh, I don't have the splash for this one. Um, so I have no idea if this is uh, 
the after scent of it, how that will be. I haven't used this before. This is my first use. Let's see if I can get this to stand here. I can. Okay. The blade in the razor is the, the blade from my blade that uh, Morris over at my blade sent to me. Thank you, Morris. They are the eco-friendly ones made with green energy and 80% recycled stainless steel. They then come with a, an encouragement, a saying or an idiom. Uh, this is just do it. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see, let me pick up the correct razor. Yeah, there it is. No overhang whatsoever. Very little blade reveal because of the wider head. Sorry, top cap, that's what I meant. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. I had two bumps here. Sits, actually. That. I have a vice. And that's ice cream. Whenever summer turns to autumn and autumn turns to winter, as it the weather is doing here in Greenland, I get a craving for ice cream. And it's always the same thing. Vanilla ice with some kind of caramel and chocolate. And you know what? I don't smoke. I hardly ever drink. I don't run around chasing all the women in the neighborhood or anywhere else for that matter. So if that's my own device, we will survive. I have the Yachi Agamemnon or how you say it, lined up for the Halloween shape. I know it will be very bloody, but Lou sent it to me. The guy that sent me the icon razor. When he sent me that, he sent me the Akinemon from Yachi. The double open comb slanted razor so it is infamous you might say for being super aggressive i haven't used it before but i thought if i were to cut off my face and bleed a lot what better day to do it or what better shape to do it in than my Halloween shave. So, do you have a Halloween shave? Tell me in the comments. Do you have something? You do? Traditions? We cut up, uh, we cut faces into pumpkins, put small candles, well, not real candles anymore, but electrical ones with batteries in them. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's about it. If I'm lucky, I might get a roast, pork roast. If I'm not, well, I will survive. Ch children go trick and treating in the neighborhood. I don't decorate uh, with anything outside because if there is a little wind, it will go away, because a little wind here is what you call storm in your area, most likely. So, that's not something we do here. On Christmas, on the other hand, everyone has the Chevy Chase or his friend 
version. It's almost like Las Vegas outside here with the lights and trees and Santas, different Santas and stuff. Everything is lit up. So even though we have no sun at all through most of the winter months, we have all the lights lighting up and the white snow so it doesn't feel as as dark about the vices and the special thing the cravings do you have something that you might have a craving for like me i don't have it in the summer funny enough so it's a a season seasonal thing for me I tell you this soap, it's not tallow based, but it's not vegan because it's made with tassa silk. But I tell you, it's phenomenal. If you haven't tried any of peat soaps, you're missing out. That's how easy it can be said. Peat makes phenomenal stuff. Speaking of which, he just released some new mid-budget, you might say, synthetic brushes um, that I have, I have one coming in, so I will be using that in the very near future. So let's, oh, I forgot to feel, oh well. Let me just Okay, I think we got I'm here. I feel the blade, but not too much. The clamming from the three hundred percent more clamming area updated razor heads really makes the the blade steady you know it's almost like you using one of those razors with an AC blade in it not with a floating AC blade but one of the others like uh, the Yachi uh, what's it called, R Romulus or the shield stumper. Oh, that reminds me, I hear the coffee maker is shutting down, but I brought some Colombian coffee. Mm, mm, mm. I apologize if you hear the noise. I do, but I have a shotgun mic pointing this way, so I might be able to hide the sound for you. I'm using the musk from Pino Klockman. It's not the same, not at all, but it has the same spicy coloniness and freshness as the soap does, but doesn't have the leather in it whatsoever. So you might say it's the same, but lacking the leather, so it's not the same. Idiot. Okay, let's have the field test. Are you ready? Field test, sound test. Perfect amount. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And we will see you on Halloween. <laughs>